know how to program a good model, you can immediately make an impact in the Deep Racer League. It's interesting also, it's like when you're building a team, right? You want to bring new ideas and new folks into that team so that you can get a different perspective. It would be great to see if the team's talking amongst themselves about what Fiat has done, but unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think he's present. No, not on site. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's the amazing thing about this, racing via proxy. Here we go, though. Debro, who for a while had the track record on this track, going in this direction at least, but has now been bumped down to just the third fastest lap. Let's see what Debro can do. And that car really has a mind of its own there. That lap obviously will be nullified. Car placed back on track now. And we're off and running again. Debro, a pillar of the Deep Racer community. And we know he's got a quick trigger. If he feels like he needs to switch his model, he will do it. And he's doing it now. This is what worked for him in the round of 32. This is how he got through. When it wasn't working with the first model, he switched to a different machine learning model, and it was enough. But there is a delay. The, the model has to get loaded into the car. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds for that to happen. And, and as you can see, the clock keeps on rolling. Now he's back up and running again. So Debro, who pioneered that strategy back in 2019 when he made a deep run as a wild card entry from, at the time, Liberty Mutual to a fourth place finish in the league. Oh, cuts the corner again, has to get reset. Just 40 seconds to go. Of course, he will have one more chance at a rebuttal. This lap, obviously a little bit slower because of the reset. It's looking more solid, Nicole, but does it have the raw speed? I don't know that it does. 15.6. Not enough. Not enough. 14.2 is the target time. Still 10 seconds to go. You see the track boss urging the car on, kind of waving it in the right direction. Is there going to be enough time to start another lap? Yes, there is, Debro. Can he take advantage of it? He was the guy that was constantly squeaking in by the skin of his teeth early in his deep racer career. Can he do it again? Ah. Not this time. Time runs out for Debro, and our number two seed now might just find himself in the last chance bracket. But it's not a done deal yet. He still has two more minutes with the opposite car to try and get his way back into the championships. He's never done it before. He's never raced for the title. He's been close. Could this be the year? A lot of nervous faces from the Accenture folks, too who are here supporting Fiat Lux. Now I see folks starting to gather around and maybe you might be new to Deep Racer. I hope that you'll come join us. What you're watching is the world's first global autonomous car racing league. And before I continue on that, it looks like you're about to see our next race. Yeah, Debro has made the switch of cars. This is it, this is really big for him. He needs to go faster than Fiat Lux to make it into the final three. If he fails to beat a 14.286 second lap in this two minutes, he'll be relegated to the last chance bracket. So that's the stakes here. Good first lap at 15.2, but ooh, heavy impact there. And you never know if that can affect the car in some small way when it makes that Hard contact with the outside retaining wall. Oh, they're rugged little buggers. They'll be fine. Well, Debro certainly will hope so. Only 90 seconds to go. Oh, and again, oh, just barely cutting out. the corner. So this lap is a write-off. Yes, once we hit this portion of the finalist series in this, you, you, you got to get a perfect run. No or question about it. Well, this has been the trouble spot, 
It got further than they had previously, but again, the car simply won't stay on the track. Only 50 seconds to go. Will Fiat Lux on debut make it to the finals? Or can Debro pull out a fast lap here in the final 40 seconds to clinch his spot in the championship race? It won't be this lap. 30 seconds to go. Across the line, Debro to start another lap. This looks smooth, this looks good. All right, it's made it this far before. Can it keep it all together? So far, so good. It's going to be close at the line. What's the time? 14.1. That is good enough. 14.1, Debro gets it done. But it's not over yet. Fiat Lux gets a chance to answer back now. Darren, a.k.a. D-Bro, told me last year that he really doesn't want to be in these tight, high-pressure, last-gasp kind of moments. That's what he's made a career out of. Well, <laughs> it's back. This is the D-Bro of old. He's done it again, folks. So many times, especially... In 2019, we saw him stave off elimination to keep that deep run going. Even last year, when he finished in the top six in the league, almost got eliminated in round one. Oh. So he's been through the wars over the years in his deep racer career. On the other side is the total neophyte, Fiat Lux, making his first ever deep racer league championship appearance. A model that was trained in under 24 hours and being raced via a proxy here and now needs to best Debro's time of 14.1 to race his way into the championship three. Not off to a very good start, it must be said. Now Debro, under two minutes away from racing for a title for the very first time. But this looks pretty oh, good. Just it. barely stays in the track. Oh, boy. Oh. Need to hit the stop button there to save as much time as possible. Beyond Lux with his buddy Doug. Handling the speed controls. Racing a model submitted from this racer in Luxembourg. Did not expect to make it out of the virtual rounds. And that's why they didn't have a model made for the physical track. It had to be trained in short notice. How about this lap? 15.7. It's pretty good, but it's not good enough. And then out. Okay, so still probably another 10 seconds to get back around. That will leave over 30 seconds at best left to work with. We're looking at probably two or three more chances here for Fiat Lux. Again, the time to beat. Debros, 14.107 seconds. It's not going to happen on this lap. So time really running out now. Can the Cinderella run continue for Fiat Lux, or is that carriage turning into a pumpkin? Oh, that was a good lap, and it's setting up to be even better here. There's time to get around for one more, I think. Fiat Lux picking up the pace. Just a few more corners to go. All right. Coming to the line, it's going to be very close. I think they'll have another chance at another lap as well. The lap was 15.4. It's not good enough, but this lap would be valid if it's good enough. Just a couple corners to go. Let's cheer on Fiat Lux. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the time? 14.946 will not get the job done. Deep row is through to the finals. And Fiat Lux will have to race in via the last chance bracket.